All right, so in this video, I'm going to cover three free residencies, almost free residencies. What I mean is no extra golden visa fees that you can obtain in 2023. I'm going to discuss the pros and cons, the main advantages of each of these almost free residencies and some cons as well. So you can pick and choose and decide what's the best residency that you would entrust you and each of these residencies can then lead to citizenship so that that all important plan b passport a strong passport at the end of these residencies i'm also going to cover the flexibility that these residencies offer in a lot of detail but before we get started if you're new my name is jay and here we discuss investments that lead to residencies citizenships and a whole lot more so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and also turn on the bell notification so you are instantly notified the moment there's any change any new residency and also my analysis on any of the rcbi options all right so the first almost free residency that i'm going to discuss is the residency of paraguay now, Paraguay was initially a PR, a permanent residency directly to begin with. You need not apply for the temporary residence. You could have directly gotten the PR, a lifelong PR, as long as you did all the renewals on time. A too good to be true kind of an option, a hidden gem. A lot of people, a lot of people benefited from this option, got the PR, secured it for their lifetime and are in a very good position position at this point right it's always a good thing to have as a plan b either it's your plan a or your plan b it's a great option because it's a territorial tax system what that means is that if you establish tax residency in paraguay then you're only looking at paying taxes uh, on the monies that you earn within paraguay it does not have the worldwide or any of the citizenship based taxation hassle so some people actively use this and some people use this as an option for the future. So in Paraguay, now the deal is better, better in terms of the financial aspect for the PR. You had to deposit 5,000 US dollars in your bank account and then you would qualify. But now that they have got rid of the PR, you can directly get the TR, the temporary residency and this temporary residency can then be easily converted into a permanent residency after two years right uh, assuming you satisfy some conditions but the criteria for the temporary residency is even simpler you don't need to deposit the five thousand dollars in your bank account as long as you have sufficient income to sustain yourself in the country that's all that you need along with a bunch of documents and you can actually obtain this temporary residency for free. If you are interested, you can always reach us and we can get you started. We work with a very good, strong agent in Paraguay who does this day in and day out. So that's the first free residency that you can avail in the Latin. The second great option is Ecuador. Now, Ecuador has multiple different ways in which you can qualify for um, the residency, temporary residency. Again, like the Paraguay, you can't jump directly to permanent residency. It has to start off with a temporary residency through the investor route. And there are multiple options where you can do this through investment. The straight, the most common or the well-known route is the 40 3k approximate usd in a bank deposit you deposit this money in the bank and then you can qualify for the investor route and you can get the temporary residency that way this is a very flexible temporary residency meaning you can live there as much as you want or as less as you want your temporary residency would stay intact you can always renew this indefinitely for as many years as you want in future as long as you maintain that investment or the primary qualifying criteria. So that's just the first one. The second option is a free option, which is if you have a professional degree, let's say it's a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, it is a professional degree. You got to register this degree in Ecuador, which is the tricky part, right? That's where it takes some time. 
but it's a straightforward procedure. So as long as you have this degree, you register it with them, you can qualify for this TRC in Ecuador. Now, of course, if you want to convert this into a permanent residency after two years, it's a, you have that option. There's some residency requirement that you have to qualify, but that is only if you want to get the permanent residency. Again, you've got to be a tax resident on the permanent residency at least for two years once you get the PR to then in the third year qualify for your citizenship, the all important Ecuadorian passport. That's a clear option if you are looking to pursue that all important Ecuadorian citizenship. It's a very strong exotic passport a lot of strong use cases for that one. Now, one of the biggest disadvantages with the Paraguayan option is that Paraguay, unlike Ecuador, would not allow that dual citizenship. It only has some limited treaties with, I believe, two or three countries that it allows dual citizenship with. But your standard US, Canada, Australia, all those countries, it would not permit that dual citizenship. It's nonetheless a very big benefit with Paraguay to obtain the permanent residency eventually and keep that as your status in case of future needs, right? In case you want to jump onto a territorial tax system, you always have your options locked in. It's all about having more options. It's all about collecting all these useful features while you are eligible. Again, I work with a very strong attorney and this one is an attorney in Ecuador. If you are looking to get started with your option, straightforward process. My attorney does tons of filings for Ecuador so we can get you started. You can always click the link in the description and book a call with us. And that way we can take care of you if you're looking to do the Ecuador option. The third on the list of almost free residencies is the Mexican option. Now the biggest advantage of the Mexico option is that its residency, which is a temporary residency, is almost free, right? So you all you got to show is your bank balance of 52K USD over the last 12 months. If you can show that average maintained balance, you can show the bank statements, you can then qualify for Mexican temporary residency that way. Alternatively, approximately 2600 uh, dollars of income, not passive income, not passive income. Unlike most of the other Latin countries, here you're talking about active income of $2,600. If you have shown that for 12 months consecutively, then that's also a qualifying criteria for economic solvency. You can qualify for the Mexican TRC, which is temporary residency, and extremely flexible options for almost three years. In the fourth and the fifth year, if you want to get citizenship, after five years, then you got to show residency in the country, year and a half at least. And I have covered the entire Mexican option, including the safety situation, walk at night, and also some of the very critical advantages of the Mexican citizenship over any other Latin citizenship. And I've discussed this with my attorney in Mexico, one of the best attorneys in Mexico City. You can return and take a look at this video. This covers about the entire discussion and coverage in a lot of detail. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and catch you in the next one.